What's going on, you guys? My name is Eric, and welcome to Makeshift Garage. So here we go. Today, it's Father's Day. We uh, decided that uh, we're going to go home and relax later, man. we got a few things to do. Let's get her done. So today, we're going to pick up all tools, get the things we need. We're going to go hit the fire truck. We're going to rip some stuff out of the way, and we're going to pull the motor if we can. We'll see. Yeah, we'll get ready. Maybe we'll pull the motor today, get it out, get it in the truck, get it over here. So let's get prepared to do that. All right, so we got a tire we're gonna take. We got the motor hoist we're gonna take. Um, what else we got? Oh, we got we gotta bring a couple of boxes of tools. We'll take some. Hey, we better not bring that electrical chugga chugga ugga chugga. We better bring the battery one because nobody trusts a guy with a cord on his impact. We'll bring a couple of jack stands just for the hell of it. We don't know that we we'll really need them, but this will happen. We're definitely gonna need the motor hoist. So let's, let's bring that bad puppy. Don't let me run nothing over What the? And who the? And why does it? I gotta let it warm up some. my toolbox. I got one toolbox in the truck. Uh, we know what we need to get this thing going. I want my box of gloves to fall show. Well, we're going to try to get a variety of uh, this and that and the other thing so we can uh, get that motor out. One bucket would be nice. Oh, look at that. It just so happens I have a five gallon bucket. We don't need that anymore, right? You know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Just gotta grab some stuff. You know, when you're pulling motors, you can't have a little bit. Of, you gotta have a little bit of everything there. That way, you know, you're good to go. And you know what? Never leave these behind. You gotta have a little bit of this and a little bit of that because these these are invaluable. We'll get that motor out. All right, we're gonna pop this puppy up. Never leave without a breaker. Window protector. I asked my buddy Adam to put the fire truck on top of a piece of three quarter ply. I brought three pieces over, some for the sides. Look what he did. I gotta move the fire truck. We only want one piece under there, and the other piece on the side, so we can come in and pull the motor out. Shit, little weed. Since he uh, got us on all three pieces of our wood, I'm gonna have to fire this up. Should I wear this when I fire it up? Is this a fire? Is this for a fire? Or is this a chef? The guy's a chef. You think I should wear this when I start it up? Because I have a feeling we should be professional about this. Oh, wait, wait, whoa, hold, hold, hold. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. All right, now I can start it up. All right, well, I know one thing, man. When we take this thing for a test drive, <laughs> we got some, we can play cowboys and Indians with a with, with, with fire truck people. But look, I can go through the woods at night. I mean, this is awesome, man. I got to hit the siren. Do you think it works? Where's the power, Scotty? Do you think it works? Buzzer, beacon. Flashers, holy mackerel. What the, what, the, what the heck is that? She got air. That ain't it. This is high beams. Oh my God. I gotta call a second friend. Yo, breaker, breaker, Adam. I'm trying to figure out how to start this fire truck. Come on, come on, over. What the? Are you? Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, oh. I can put it on both. That must be more power, Scotty. Let's see, let's see, let's see. How do you, and what do you, how do you know? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think it's gotta be in neutral, bro. Oh. There we go. Oh, she a rat, she a rat. This, this truck runs like dog doo doo, but it's enough to move it. 
Ten four, ten four, break a 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 one nine, ten four, ten four, over, over. I better switch uniforms. We got it. Uh, holy. All right, there she go. That would lop your head off like a mousetrap. Woo! Well, we got a good lock on her. First things first, man. I need to get this thing out of the way. Adam left us no electric, but I'm thinking we just need a little bit for a little while. You think we could do it? You think we, you, you, you think we could do it? What the? And why not? Why not? You think this thing will start? Oh, it looks good. Oh man, we got electric. Let's roll, bro. We got electric. More space. We don't need this bracket either. I think for now I'm just going to cut it off. Later we'll unbolt it. It's just a useless bracket. It's really not, you know, serving purpose anymore. Medium metal. Thick metal. That's what I'm talking about. Thick metal. Why are you gonna... I gotta be. Are you kidding me? Ooh, that's nice. This is old school. You see this Hitachi? I can't even believe it. I bought this when I was 23 years old. I'm 60. And this little bit still works. It all fell apart. It lost all the rubber wrapping. And the, t the thing's been repaired a few different times. But I was 60. And this thing is still working. I mean, I was... I can't even remember what I'm thinking. I was 23. And now I'm 60. Yo! If this is what you're holding, you're golden. Lubrication, baby. Let's roll. Yeah, baby. Here we go. Woo! Put that shit on everything, bro. I got to get me a hot dog, though, man. I smell starving. I, I smell some starving out. What the? And who the? And why is it? I can't even... That worked good. I am beholden to golden. Put it on, boo. Put it on. Oh, look at that. Woo -hoo! Woo! Hey, come here. Look in this pipe, man. The nest in here, bro. What in the world is living in there? Woo! You ain't putting water in this tank. Not today. And the last move, I guess, is to pop this thing out the way. Let's see what we got. We need to do one more cut, bro, right here. Let's get this thing out the way. Oh, I love the golden boy. She's golden. I'm beholden to the golden. Anywho, I'd like to know what in the world. Oh, that had to be a mouse. Oh, there's a whole, oh, there's a universe in there. All right, anywho, let's go. Yo, man, smelling that mustard, man. I'm going to hog this dog. Yo, we got to do it, dude. We got to do it. Mm, mm, mm. Here we go. So, um, most of you guys don't know why we're doing this. Because it does run. It starts up and runs. Then we drive four or five miles and have to fill it up with water. She got a blown head gasket. 
and she's just tired, man. It ain't got power to get going anymore. So that's why we're rebuilding this. And it's gonna be awesome, man. This truck is gonna be awesome. Made by hand pizza, but I'm trying to get him to change the name to Fire Truck Pizza. Yo, you need a pizza in your fire truck air. No. Yo, you need a fire truck pizza in your party. No. You need a party in your fire truck pizza. No. You just gotta have fire truck pizza, dude. You gotta bring the fire truck to the party. Have pizza made by hand pizza in your fire truck pizza. Yours. Next plan of attack. I wish we didn't have to put this back on, but this radiator does not come with a radiator cap, which is a damn shame because this is just a big old ugly uh, piece of uh, whatever. So let's shut this thing off. Not that I know how to shut it off. Uh, bam, here we go. All right, that's a beautiful thing. Let me just close this just in case somebody comes here while I'm gone. We don't want nothing like that happening. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is beautiful. We are buying one of these. This is amazing. All right, makeshift trailer. Proper place to work. I'm gonna take a little siesta under the, under the tree there if you don't mind. All right, well listen, I really would, I wanna catch the water with something. Uh, you know what? Just pull it off. I don't know how much it's really going to be. <laughs> There's nothing in there. Uh, I guess she had a head blow. You know, she got a blown head gasket. So, you know, lucky for us, everything was loose on here. Not lucky for the owner of the truck because everything added to not being right. Everything's loose. Everything's leaky. Everything, you know. But um, makes it easier for us to get on and off. That's for sure. 235 horsepower engine, but... They were sucking air from there. I think it's a 65. But you take this off, look, it's got the old oil. You put oil in here, and they use oil for a filter. Old school, bro. You don't have this anymore, ever. All right, well, this is a 391 engine, and it looks like uh, this might only be a 650, 700 ho Holly. Uh, I don't know, we'll have to look up the numbers, but don't it don't look like, it don't look like it's more than a 650. But that's good, it's all it needed. Is she pulled, man. She got power, man. It's this got extra webbing in it. It's for heavy duty uh, truck. A lot of guys know about these uh, FEs, FTs. I'm not sure what they even call them. They're 391s, though. They were putting industrial stuff, fire trucks, stuff like that. So here you go. Talk about you know a 391 built for old school fire trucks and stuff. This is what bolts your air breather down. Come up here and look at this. See if you can see if you can get look at the size of that. I don't think you could find this car right anymore with a, you know, you know, with this big giant freaking stud in there. I mean, usually it's a little tiny thin stud, you know? So it's old school, bro. This is old school. This is fun. I became a Ford guy and my father was a Ford guy too, but he fucked with him because they always said Ford has a better idea. Then they'd hide a fucking bolt where you can't get to the back of it. What kind of better idea is that? Come on. Inside the truck, there's a, there's a, there's a, like in a boat, you know, one battery, two batteries. They got that inside here, but the battery is here. And really, we need to, uh, yeah, there they are. I mean, when you're working on stuff, you really ought to disconnect it. Even though everything's shut off from inside the truck, I think we better break the, the continuity. You know what I'm saying? There's a word. We'll use that word for now. How's that? They, they literally say you can disconnect. The negatives, which is better than disconnecting the positives. I don't know why that's true, but that's what I've been told. So guess what? That's what we're gonna do. <sighs> My lady ain't coming near me for a week. She hates this shit. Living in here, just like a whole forest fire. Forest in here, waiting for a forest fire from these freaking manifolds. My Lord, I can't even reach it all. But well, we had to figure out how to get all that out of there. Well. I guess when you get under there to start popping them bolts out the tranny, you're gonna have to do something because they're definitely in the way. We should make an air cleaner out of that. That should keep the water out. We got about eight bolts, whatever, left in the uh, flex plate and a couple of bolts right there in the front motor mount. And this motor's coming out, but it's Father's Day and I wanna go home. It's already like five o'clock at night. Time to go.